Remnants from the tragedy of a city devastated by terrorists is now meshed in the bow of a new amphibious transport dock ship, and its unveiling took place in a city devastated by Mother Nature. Pre-commissioning Unit New York was christened recently in New Orleans. She'll be commissioned USS New York one year from now. As Sergeant Jeremy Ross reports, the ship symbolizes resilience. In honor of the city, the state, and the people of New York, and in the name of the United States of America, I christen thee New York. May God bless this ship and all who sail in her. With that, Dottie England, wife of Deputy Defense Secretary Gordon England, officially christened the warship in honor of those who died and those who survived the 9-11 attacks. 7.5 tons of steel pulled from the wreckage of the World Trade Center were melted down and built into the ship's bow. Today is a day of reflection, a day of remembrance, and it is a day of resolve. The ship is 684 feet long and can top 24 miles per hour. She'll hold a crew of more than 360. We can be confident that, like her namesake, New York, she may suffer damage, but she will never know defeat. The ship was built at Northrop Grumman Ship Systems about 12 miles up the Mississippi from downtown New Orleans, a city devastated by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The shipyard is a staple of the local economy, the ship itself a symbol of survival. Just really a testament of uh, New York and New Orleans being similar in the fact that we we're able to go through tragedies and still come out on the other side. After com National Gal 11th. For this week in the Pentagon, in the fact that we are able to workers and military for the previous holders and still come out on the other side. After commissioning, the ship will be based in Norfolk, Virginia. For this week in the Pentagon, I'm Marine Sergeant.